Hi guys, welcome to Wendy Show Live. Today I'm cooking something. I'm cooking my loaf. And I'm um, just right now I'm just putting my seasoning. And the meatloaf. I'm gonna use this seasoning here. This is good seasoning. So I think I made a meatloaf before on my channel, I'm not for sure. I'm going to, I know a lot of people put breadcrumbs in their meatloaf, not me, I don't, mm -mm. I don't do, I don't put mine that way, I don't cook, cook it that way, so, it's a little garlic, so, I'm just going to mold this into like a loaf. And I already have it on the foil because I think on the foil it cooks better. Just um, transfer uh, the meat to the um, pan, but I prepared it. You know everything. But I'm trying not to make this a too long of a uh, video. Whenever you see me cooking, you always hear me. I'm just going to do garlic, but I love garlic. And you can also buy like garlic. Um, they have garlic pills. That's good. I for high blood pressure, actually. And other things to keep inflammation down. Give me a minute, guys. I'm just washing my hands. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just, I love to keep it like foil because the foil really helps it cook good. So, I'm just going to put a little pepper over it again, even though I already had pepper on it. And when it gets done, that's why I'll put like my um, like when I when it start getting done, that's when I pour like my um uh, my sauce over it and let it cook a little bit more. So this video was just you guys seeing me preparing my meatloaf. As you can see, it's in a little 
So this is, I'm just showing you guys of me preparing my Sunday dinner. And I'm going to show you what else I'm going to have. So give me a minute. that and also I'm gonna have mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna have corn in the cob and my mashed potatoes guys. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna dress my mashed potatoes up with um some stuff and um that's what we having for dinner today. Meatloaf, corn on the cob and mashed potatoes. turn it's not down but because I want to put my meat off inside the oven and I just want to make sure that it's um it's already preheated so I'm gonna turn it So I have this lid. This is an iron pot and it steams very well. Like it works really good. It's like a roasting or like a roasting pan. So I'm not gonna put the cover over it just yet. Cause I want it to like really cook. So I'm just gonna stick this baby inside the oven. I'm gonna get a couple of more minutes. So Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. So right now, I'm just gonna uh, wash out my pot. So I'm just washing out my pot to put my corn in. And um, after I do that, I'm going to, I'm not going to start my mashed potatoes yet because the mashed potatoes, these are instant mashed potatoes and they cook pretty fast. You know how it cooks less than like five minutes. You just stir it and it's, it's cooking. So I don't want to cook them just yet because I want them to be nice and warm, nice and hot rather, you know, when I'm um, fixing plates. So, um, I'm just going to put my, um, my to say rolls my meatloaf inside the oven now so put this in the oven so i have that so um stay tuned guys so what i'm doing now i'm boiling bro bro boiling my water For my um, corn so um, I'm gonna let that boil and I'm gonna add some um, seasoning to my water like you know a little seasoning a little butter just so that it can steam with the cor um, corn so I have my margarine here I'm just gonna put a little inside the water Need to. I'm gonna put this over to the side, and I'm just gonna add a little pepper. Okay, so I'm just gonna add my corn, guys. And this is the um, extra sweet corn. I love sweet corn. Guys, 
So I'm going to add a little uh, black pepper. So guys, my corn is cooking. As you can see, it smells so good. So I'm cooking my corn. I'm a, I think I'm going to start boil, boiling my water for my mashed potatoes. But I'm, I just want to wait for a minute. But my corn is cooking and my my um, my um meatloaf is cooking as well. Like it's coming out really good guys. So um, stay tuned. So guys, I'm putting my water on for my mashed potatoes. So I'm going to let that boil a little bit. And um, hopefully everything gets done in a half an hour. So, um, oh, I have, just a minute, guys. So, I have these tubes of, like, um, like, I have, well, this one, what's this one, basically? I'm gonna use the basil today. But I just want to show you guys, this is, like, paste. This is, like, garlic paste. It's, like, um, crushed up real fine. And, um, I'm not gonna use this. I could have rubbed like rub some of it on the um, meatloaf but I didn't want to put too much garlic in that and I have my um, basil here I am going to use my basil and I have my uh, my ginger it's like a rub like you could rub on some like your meats and stuff like that so um, I'm going to use my basil put it I'm going to use some of my basil inside my uh, meatloaf, meatloaf sauce. I said meatloaf, meatloaf sauce. Um, so I had that and I'm going to, I looked in my freezer. I forgot I had brought some shrimp and I could have made like a, um, like a, a tall salad with shrimp inside of it. Wasn't even thinking, but who knows? I might cook that for later or uh, make that for lunch for tomorrow for um while I'm at work. So um yeah I might make that for my lunch for tomorrow and then I can have it with dinner because more than likely I'll probably have leftovers from tonight. So um yeah. So let me just check my meatloaf guys. So so far it looks pretty good. It's browning and I poke holes inside whenever I cook a meatloaf or any type of um, meat that I put in the oven. I always poke holes inside the meat just so they could get done inside and out, you know. And also so it won't cook too fast on the outside and, and it's not getting cooked in the inside. So I always poke holes inside the meat. But it looks good so far. It looks really good. So I'm just going to wait for that to finish cooking. Stay tuned, guys. Just want to show you guys my meatloaf. Look how it's getting done. And I'll just cut it in slices and drizzle my sauce over it. It's gonna be so good. Here's my corn. I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it finish cooking, and then I'll drizzle my sauce all over it. And once I put my sauce over it, I'll put the lid on. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make me some, I am going to make the shrimp. So what I'm going to do, uh, you probably won't catch it on this video, but I'm just going to, um, like I'm still going to make it, but... I'm going to uh, make garlic and ginger strength. That should taste really good. Because ginger gives it, give it that little kick. So, I'm going to use the garlic and the ginger for the strength. And I'm going to pour a little, not too much, like a little olive oil inside the pan. And mix it up like that. So, that will taste good. And I have some lettuce. Some I, I think I have... 
spinach leaves. I think I have some fruit, you know, the um, spinach. I'm going to use that. It's going to taste good. So I'm ready to put my mashed potatoes on. I'm going to pour them inside the boiling water. And I'm going to put a little margarine inside the water with a little pepper, a little sea salt. So um, my dinner is actually almost done. So and I'm kind of running out of time. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. So, so guys, I'm running out of time. Unfortunately... I'm running out of space. I have to clear stuff out. I have too many videos, so the time is like, it keeps flashing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop my video here. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Also push the bell notification button for more of my videos. And um, I'll see you guys on my next video. And I'm um, my dinner is almost done. You know, everything's almost done, but... I know as soon as I start making my sauce and everything, it's going to cut off. So I just wanted to show you guys today what I'm what I'm cooking for Sunday dinner, which was meatloaf, um, corn, corn on the cob, sweet corn, and mashed potatoes. And um, everyone enjoy their Sunday, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday meal today. And um, keep everyone in your prayers, um, you know, and just pray for everyone. I'll see you guys on my video my next video. Bye guys.